Welcome to Patriot Woodworks and Crafts. Today we're going to talk about Dacboard. Dacboard is a customizable display. You can show your photos, calendars, weather, news, and much more on a digital screen uh, within your house or your business. Patriot Woodworks and Crafts does not have a relationship with Dacboard, although we highly encourage you to take a look at the different uh, subscriptions that they have for their product. Hi, today I'm going to show you how to create and log into your Dacboard account. Go to the website https colon slash slash dacboard.com slash site. Once you get there, click login. If you don't have an account already, click create account and type in our username. This will be custom to yourself. I am not a robot. Create account. Once you've logged into your Dacboard account, let's take a look at some of the options here. To start off, we're going to be talking about the free subscription that Dacboard offers. Later, we'll talk about the paid subscriptions they have. For the free subscription, you have one screen called the predefined screen. You can click on the three dots, and you can either edit the screen view the screen or set the default, set as default. As I said, this is the only screen you have for the free subscription and it's already your default. I'm gonna click view just to give you an example of what Dacboard is. You can see in the upper left, it has the time and the date. It has weather on the bottom with a forecast. And then the background is a rotating pre-stock pictures of nature and general backgrounds, powered by Dacboard. In the upper right hand corner, you can click Options, and it's going to bring you back to your screen. I'm going to click View again so you can see another example of the background. Let's click Edit. In the Layout tab, let's click Left and Right. Save changes at the bottom. Send changes to display and view screen. As you can see, the weather and forecast is on the right hand side rather than the bottom. You can also note a little bit of an overlap between the text and the icons. This is due for, to two reasons. One, the resolution of the browser. This does not happen on the full size screens. Also, within the settings, and we'll talk about this later, you can change the size of the font on the screen. Decreasing the size will allow for enough space without any overlap. Let's click Options to go back. Let's take a look at the Background tab. There are many sources of the background image that you can have, such as your Apple Photos, Flickr, Google Photos, etc. We're going to choose Nature and Landscape, which is also the default. This option allows you to select how often the background changes. We're going to keep it at every two minutes. To ensure that we can see the text that we want on the on the DAC board, we're going to decrease the brightness of the background image. We're not going to show metadata. Let's click Save Changes. Now let's go to Calendars. In the Calendars tab, we're going to click Calendar Enabled. Monthly, the week starts on Sunday, let's click Save Changes. Now let's link an account. Click Google Calendar or Microsoft Calendar, whatever one you have. Click on your account. We're going to allow permissions. And now you can see app authorizations. Google Calendar is authorized. Let's go back to Screens, Calendars, and we see that the Google Calendar is included. So let's send changes to display. We have one more thing to do. Let's scroll down 
click on the triangle next to Google Calendars, and we're going to select the calendar that we want to use. For the free subscription, you are allowed two calendars. The paid subscriptions allow for more. Let's scroll down and click Save Changes. Send changes to display and view screen. Now you can see our calendar has been populated. Let's go back to edit our screen. Let's click time and date. Time and date is enabled. Select your time zone. Select the time, clock type and the time format. I want it to show AM and PM. Save changes. Send changes to display and view screen. Now let's edit the weather. Click the weather tab. There are a few different weather sources. Some of these are only offered with the DAC board essentials and require an upgrade. Weather Underground only, is, only works with personal weather stations. So for the free subscription, we're limited to the open weather map. We're going to keep it on the four day and let's click Save Changes. Let's click on the News tab. Let's click RSS Enabled. And we're going to paste in weather alerts. This is from the National Weather Service. A basic search of RSS feeds and National Weather Service or NWS you can find your locate your locale and select an RSS feed. We're going to call this Weather Alerts. Let's click Save Changes. The free subscription only allows you to have one RSS feed. Paid subscriptions allow for more RSS feeds. Let's click Save Changes to Display. Let's click View Screen. As you can see, there are no active watches or warnings or advisories. You can also see that there's an overlap between the news RSS feed and the calendar. So let's go back, let's go to calendars, and let's disable the calendar, just temporarily. Click Save Changes, Save Changes to Display, and View Screen. Let's go back, let's enable the calendar, Go down, save changes, and we're going to disable the RSS feed. Let's look at the to-do. There are multiple different sources you can pull from. Setting this up is very similar to the calendars. I'm not going to go through that today. Let's click custom message. Let's click message enabled. And let's click and type let's click our custom message let's put it at the top and scroll down and click save changes now like we had with the news feed we're going to go and disable the calendar temporarily and click save changes We're going to send changes to display and click view screen. Now you can see our custom message at the top. Let's go back. We're going to enable the calendar. Click save changes. Go to our custom message and disable our custom message. Now let's take a look at settings and defaults. Here you can name the screen. This is more handy when you have the paid subscription to either include that on the loops or the schedule. We're not going to name ours today because we only have one screen. Let's change the base font size to small and click Save Changes. Let's send changes to display and view screen. 
as you can see, the font is much smaller. Let's click Options, Edit, Settings and Default. Let's try Medium. Scroll to the bottom and click Save Changes, some changes to display, and View Screen. A little bit larger. Let's keep it like that. Back to Settings and Default. And as you can see, this screen is the default for the account. This is the private URL here, and we'll get into that in a later video. Let's click Save Changes, and let's send changes to display and view screen one more time. So this is the final dashboard that we have. It's very easy to make changes. And with your dashboard, once it's connected to a screen, you can log into this web browser, edit your screen. When you click Save Changes and Send to Dashboard, it will upload on the board that you have on a remote location. This could be at your house, it could be somewhere else. It's a very handy feature. Thanks for watching.